Hello, before we uh, get into anything, uh, anything with the editor, uh, I want to, uh, so, uh, for, first thing you have to do is uh, go to uh, this little file here called config.cfg. Uh, it will be in your tr truck dinosaur hunter root folder, which is in program files, steam, steam apps, common, truck dinosaur hunter. That's your root folder. When I say root folder, this will be it here. So uh, go to open your config file. I just want you to uh, go down to Seta Developer. It's gonna yours is gonna say zero. I want you to set it to one, and that will able that will make you able to play test your maps. That's pretty much what it does in editor. But that's a, it's a pretty neat feature. It will uh, play test your maps is way faster than just publishing your map and then uh, testing it that way. Play test, you can just play test through the editor. That's pretty much what, you know, the, one of the most important things of send this developer mode to one. That's, I just want you to do that first before we uh, start our bit on uh, how to use the editor. Okay, so some things I want to say is uh, that uh, we, you know, you can use this uh, tutorial as a guide uh, using the official uh, guide truck dinosaur hunter guide. Uh, this guide will be uh, located in your root folder down the bottom here. It's really down the bottom right here in your root folder, root, root torque dinosaur hunter folder will be located at. So you can use this, you know, use this video and use that guide and just read along. Uh, there's so, as much as I like this guide, there's just some things that are like nonsensical about this guide. You know, as much as as much as I like it, you know, there's just some stuff that's kind of backwards in how you can uh, naturally do a do a map. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna take the nuances and uh, implement them and how how to make a you know a map map the fast way. All right. So what we want to do and and also I want to point out you know if uh, you're you're looking to get into Turok 2 uh, editing. Uh, besides uh, the actors part, you it's pretty much the same thing. It's pretty much the same things, but besides actors and uh, some sector op options right here. See in the top uh, top left corner here, you have sector edit mode and actor edit mode. You have mesh edit mode. You know if you want to get into Turok 2 to uh, developing, uh, you know. Beside, besides uh, little differences between this stuff here, it's pretty much the same thing. It's pretty much the same thing. So what we want to do uh, first is uh, we want to put some grass down. And really, you don't have to do grass. Really, if you want, if you want to make you know make your first map and just publish it, go right ahead. You know this doesn't have to be a practice map at all. So what I did is I went to this uh, right right uh, area here. See where my cursor is. If you want to uh, go full screen with the video, you know you can see better what we what I've got here. Uh, so we got mo transform and we got models here. And we got console. Right now we're going to go to model picker. We're just going to go down this list of models until we get the floor uh, grass here. And you see a whole bunch of selections. Yet, you know, some 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 grass is big, some grass is small. Uh, right now, I go to grass number ten. The reason I want you to go to grass number ten is this grass is small. It's it allows for more precise mapping. So, uh, it, it, it and also it will fit into uh, these blue squares here that you got here it will your uh, grass will fit into these blue squares so it's totally worth it so we want to uh, right click insert mesh here 
This is the first option. Insert mesh here. And then uh, select that. And wow, we got our grass. It's in the world now. You can publish this in Workshop and go like, hey, I made this cool map. Can't walk in it, though, which we'll get into later. But. So we're just going to fit kind of fit into the square here. I'm using my uh, WASD uh, keys to move around. By the way, if you want to just uh, try doing that. And I can move around the world while uh, holding down the right mouse button. You see how I'm doing that? There we go. So right now, we're just going to I fit this little grass in there. We just want one grass. And that'll be it. And it, I can't, you know, I could spend all day trying to fit it into this blue square here. But what, what we're, we're going to make this simple. What we're going to do is uh, we're going to we're going to hold shift, left shift, and we're going to press a G. Wow, it just fit into that square. You are exactly in that square right now with this uh, little grass here, this little grass piece. Now, let's say I wanted to uh, make more grass. Well, what we would do is uh, we'd uh, hold control and we press C. It says copied one object. In order to copy me meshes like this, like this grass here, you have to be in mesh edit mode. You cannot be in sector edit mode or actor edit mode. Those are two separate modes right there. These are three separate modes. You have to be in mesh edit mode. See if I tried to do this with sector in sector edit mode, and I tried doing that, copied zero objects. It did not work at all. And I can't I can't paste it at all. See it deselected it. So what I have to do is I have to go to mesh edit mode. All right, so again, we're gonna hold hold left control. Right, we right now we just deselected this uh, grass here. So what I need to do is uh, hold left control, and I need to, need to click on it. And I've selected this mesh here, and and then again we're gonna try copying it. So we're gonna hold left control, and we're gonna press C at the same time. So hold left control and C. Copying one object. Down here in the bottom corner here. Copy it's a copy one object. So right, then after we copied it, we're gonna paste it. So left control and V. Now we can at it, it looks like we deselected it, but now no now we can actually move it. See it was right under there. And then uh, after we push it out a little bit more, we could just press uh, hold shift and G. You know, pretty simple stuff. And if I wanted to do this faster, I would uh, hold, c hold control, hold left control, hold left shift, and press the other one that we deselected, that we that's not selected right here. Now we got both of them selected. So what we're going to do is we're going to do it again. I'm going to hold C. I'm going to copy. I'm going to we're going to press paste. This is pretty simple stuff. This is not what throws people off. But this is pretty simple stuff. You know, I'm not, I wouldn't call myself a really smart dude. You know, yeah, but yeah, I can figure this out, and I think you can too. Alright, so let's say that I wanted to, uh, it didn't, it wasn't precise as I want it to be. Here, I'm going to show you the show you an example of what I'm talking about here. See, you uh, copy, hold, hold left control and C, and hold left control and V. So you can... See, you know, 
when you want to snap it, snap it to snap it precisely, sometimes it doesn't go to these uh, blue squares. And you can tell that it's not precise, it's not connecting, because you have you have this little uh, graphical glitch here. And if you went into game right now, and uh, you saw, you would see this uh, graphical glitch, and it just looks ugly. It really does. It it's it's it, it'll hurt your eyes. So you don't want that. What you want to do is you want to be precise. You want to kind of use this little red arrow here. Just kind of get it precise here. And that's all you have to do. So I'm just going to keep doing this for a little bit here. It's basically the same thing over and over again. Yeah, before uh, Torek modding, I did not mod at all. You know, it's... But, you know, after a month of probably, you know, f finding out stuff from that guide, because I, I was pretty much one of the first modders, I just, I started modding right, like, almost from the get-go, right when this editor came out. And I just looked at the guide you know it helped me a lot but there's just uh, there's just some stuff I can condense here that the guy you know that the guy won't really tell you here okay All right, so I got I got a pretty fair field here. It's a really small field. Nothing really special. And if you uh, deselect it, you can have stuff selected, and you can deselect it by pressing the Escape key. And I'll just deselect uh, all everything you got here. So if and if you want to select something again, you'd have to uh, hold a uh, left again left control left left shift. And you have to click on uh, either one one. You have to collect uh, all this stuff here. All that stuff. Alright. You have to do it one at a time, unfortunately. Uh, later later uh, editions of this uh, editor will probably uh, have it where you can select a whole bunch of stuff by holding you know, holding down like control and selecting them like a box. I've seen that with uh, the Turok 2 editor, but uh, as as for as for now, for this uh, Turok 1 editor, you're just gonna have to bear with it and hold control, hold left shift, and select each one one at a time. Uh, and it and you can't just hold con hold control; it has to be left control, left shift. Otherwise, if you just hold left control, this happens. You just unselected all your stuff, so it has to. You have to combine it with shift. So that's that. Right now. So you got you got the stuff down here. You got all this grass here. Uh. I think I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. I'm gonna hold. Hold, hold left control, press C, and left control and V. I can just, I'm just gonna make more room here because I want to decorate. I don't want to just make a plain big field. I want to decorate. So that's what you want. Tarak was made for its visuals. It wasn't just for plain grass fields. So I'm gonna go to model picker. I'm going to get an example here. 
I think this one would go good. Maybe? Nah. I wanna put a I wanna get a stable. I know it's around here somewhere. Mm -hmm. Village stable. Alright. Put this. Right click, insert mesh. And you see how it's uh, not uh, connecting to the ground here? It's not on the ground. I want to left control, uh, left mouse click. And I want to press uh, the end key on your keyboard. Watch this. Wow, it just went on the ground. All right. Now, you don't have have to get it precise. Like a, something like a stable, you won't have to get precise at all. But, you know, for this uh, tutorial's sake, I will uh, get it kind of precise. Can't be 100% with stables or meshes like that. Uh, so right now, let's say I want, it, I want it to face the other way. I want to just flip it around a little bit. I will go to transform and you see if I if I go to transform you can uh, flip it around 180 degrees or 90 degrees or whatever so let's say I wanted to flip it around 90 degrees here I got a I got a rotation and the yaw parameter here go to nine I can press 90 put 90 and press enter It'll flip it around 90 degrees. And uh, I want even if I want to do 180, do 180. Flip it around like that. And I can uh, do this uh, ad infinium, really, with these uh, numbers here. Let's see, you can go to what 360 or even. Even 540. I can go add infinitum with these numbers here, but for simplicity's sake, just keep it to like you just keep it to 90 degrees, to zero degrees. Even um, minus 90 degrees can uh, flip it around again, or minus 180. Whatever you have to do to put in direction direction you want this stable to go. So we're gonna go back to 90 degrees. Nope. There we go. Okay. So I got the stable here. What else? I want I want more stuff. I'm greedy. I want more stuff. Let's put more stuff down. Alright. Uh tree. I'm going to put a tree down here. Oh, it disappeared. I can't see it. It's probably under the grass. Uh, insert mesh is not the most accurate uh, thing ever. Stuff will kind of like disappear on you. It probably went behind another mesh. So just look in a general area. If you're, if it appears in the bottom or something, you can't, you, you know you press insert mesh and you can't find it. It's probably down here behind something or whatever. So I just selected it. I'm moving it up with the little directional arrows here. All right, press, press, I moved it up. I wanna put it on the ground, press end. It's on the ground. Okay. And once I got the, this mesh in a, in a map, I don't have to go to insert mesh. So I'm just gonna copy those. Copy paste those, copy paste those. Yada yada yada. Okay. So All right. So if I ever wanted to go inside the game, 
I would uh, have to, uh, I, I could press play with this play button up here and test level. But first I would have to save the map. So this is a new map. Dot, no, dot map. You don't have to put dot map, just put new map. Or whatever, whatever you want to name your map be blarg. Alright, so now to, now that after you save it, you can press plus play right here, this little test level button right here. And, uh, Turok will be playing. And you can skip this by pressing space. And as you can see, you have a black screen. All right. So yeah, I did that. Uh, here, I just press Alt Tab. To, I Alt Tabbed out of there, and I just press Close Window if that ever happens. Um. So I did that intentionally. You're not going to be able to see anything in your map if you do not sector your map. Now this is the fun part. Okay. So. What you want to do is uh, you go to sector. You go to sector edit mode on this uh, top left corner. All right, so now you're in sector edit mode. You're probably wondering what 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 do I do next? The first thing that you want to do is you press F1. It says vertex plot mode. It says you a bunch of directions here. In order to sector right with vertex plot mode, you have to uh, you have to press space to toggle ray ray trace. Because otherwise, if you did not press space, look, I'm I'm pushing uh, the middle my, the middle mouse button to plot a little vertex for sectors. It look, it's in the air. This is in the air, and when you place a sector. The thing, the thing about sectors is you need them to play the play, uh, actually play the map. Like I said, uh, all this stuff, like the stable here, this grass, and these trees here, these are purely visual for visuals. They're purely for visuals. They uh, have nothing to do with uh, how the game is played. The game is played with sectors. It's not. You know, this is just visual. It's just an illusion for the player. Alright, so I'm going to press escape. I'm going to delete these these little vert verticals that I placed down that I don't want. And I'm, I'm going to select them just like I'd select a mesh. I hit control and left and left shift. Left shift, left control, and just select those, all these little verticals that I don't want. I'm going to press delete, the delete key on my uh, keyboard here, and this, okay, so again, you're going to go to F1, and you're going to press space, see how it highlights the meshes red, it'll highlight uh, any, any, almost any mesh red here, except a few, like uh, these trees here, you know, these don't light up red. I don't know the pr why it doesn't do that, but, you know, that's just how it is. Okay. So, with that in mind, I'm going to press the middle button. I'm going to press a vertical here. A vertical here. And a vertical here. I'm just going to place three verticals. Now, what you want to do, you only have to do this once per map. This is only once per map. So you select all three. One, two, three. And you select the back backspace key. You push the backspace key after all those are selected. You have your first sector. This is your first sector right here. And, yeah. That's all. That's all. All it is, pretty much. This is all it is. 
So, right now this little uh, triangle right here, Turok can walk on. Your player character can walk on. Right now. So, I'm just going to put another one right there. I'm going to make more. And I want to keep in mind that, you know, sectors are in triangles. So, I'll keep that in mind while I place these on the board here. And you just want to, you want to make sense with where, where you want to place these. You know, not too many, not too few. Because maybe you want to come back, go back and edit those, those sectors later. Like if you wanted to add like a building here or something like that. You don't want to have a sensible amount, amount of verticals and sectors. Just uh, laying around. So... I'm just making a few. I'm making enough so I can just walk around. Nope, that didn't, that didn't work. Okay. I'm just placing enough here. Just so you can see. Okay, so I got enough set up. So let's say I want to make more sectors. I want to make more of these little triangles here that you can walk on. I'm going to select it. Just like you like you select anything here. You select it by holding control and left clicking. Press, instead of F1, press F2. Now you're in sector creation mode. So you're going to kind of like, you want to hold down shift, right? You want to hold down. Sh you want to. You want to highlight the end you want to copy first. So you can. So see how there's like a yellow line going around this sector here. If I hold down Shift on one of those lines, I you know I can't move the line anymore. It's locked onto this side here. So just hold down Shift, and you select the vertical that you want to go on. So I want to go to this vertical here. Bam! I made another sector. Hold shift, left shift, and go to the next vertical. Bam. Let go of shift, push shift down again. Bam. Let go of shift, push shift again. Bam. Bam. And I can just keep going over and over. I and this is the part that throws people off, but as you can see, it's not really that hard. This is not a really difficult uh, process. People think uh, sector editing is kind of more difficult than a brush base editor. And you know, you know, while it may be more like a little time consuming, it allows for more precise. Uh, events in the long run so like you can control how events are played out within your map more easily and it's kind of sad that uh, people you know you have these new the, the new editors that, of uh, video games that you have out they, they uh, opted out for uh, brush or whatever editing so if sec you know completely get rid of sectors you know yeah you do have that automatic control but it doesn't it's not it's not that uh you don't have you don't have the power to control events how you want it to But yeah, it's it's not rock and science, as I'm showing right now. It's not rock and science. So I just press escape, and now I have all these sectors that you know I can use. So and the first and after that, 
since we want to walk on all this stuff here, we're going to have to go to actor edit mode, right? So you go to actor edit mode. All this disappeared, that's okay. Because it's still there. Then totally disappear. Alright, so we're going to go to player, player right here. And so I right clicked, I press, went, scroll down to add actor to player, and player. And this is where, this is your player starting point. You only need one of these per map. So I don't want them facing this direction, I want them facing the other direction. So I can just do it just like a mesh. I could just uh, go to rotation on tran the transform tab in the right here and put 90 and press enter. It switches it. It's almost like a game board, isn't it? Okay, I'm back. Uh, so what we're trying to do here is uh, if we want more precise control over uh, Turok here, uh, we can... Uh, actually press space while we have them selected and we can actually turn talk around to any degree that we want to we don't have to use the transform tab for us we could just uh, use this little weird uh, circle shape here so blue turns the uh, direction that he is he's going to uh, red can uh, go up and down for actors, uh, for meshes, it would uh, actually uh, flip the mesh over a little bit. It would uh, do some weird things with the mesh. So if I did this with a mesh, it would kind of do some turning over instead of directional. I can go flip it all the way around, wee, like that, you know. I can go all the way with this, actually, if I wanted to. But, uh... Yeah, for now, uh, we don't need to we don't need to be doing that. So I'm gonna reset that. All right, so go to actor edit mode, so we can select Tarak again. Uh, all we got, all we want to do is just uh, kind of move him around to like a random direction or whatever. Just so it's not really, really straight. Alright. So, after that's done, uh, we can uh, save this map again. And we're going to actually, uh, we can actually go inside the map and play it now. Now that he's down on a sector here, we can actually go inside and play. And as you can see, I'm inside the game. You know, you should be pat if you're in this, in a map like this, you should uh, be patting yourself on the back. Back right now, you uh, just made your first map. Really, it's not really, not really a good map, but you know, you made your first map. So you could do anything that you'd normally do while uh, in this demo mode here. Uh, and I just want to point something out that uh, okay, I'm going to show you something. You see how I went through the stable here? You see how I'm going through these trees here? You know, that's kind of weird, isn't it? Uh, that's because uh, you have to uh, you have to make walls of uh, the stable here of sectors and you can do a simple uh, no collide with these trees here that I'll show later on uh, but you do have to uh, make a make a little like little walls so uh, truck doesn't just warp through all these here you see and I can't go forward uh, because I haven't sectored what's in front of me right here I have not sectored anything in front. See, look. I can't go forward. 
at all. So I'm gonna I'm gonna quit. Alright, so and that's pretty much uh the simple simple stuff uh for uh doing this stuff. I'm 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 gonna show in a later video on a how to uh you know customize these sectors so it doesn't look like uh you're in uh, like a black void world or whatever. You know, you can actually bring some sunlight into the stuff and other, other neat stuff, other neat tricks you can do. Alright, uh, I'll see you later. Bye-bye now.